Ancient peoples watched a volcano erupt, and this just may be their illustration of it. Laura Gadget of Life Science reports this. Rock art, hieroglyphs, before hieroglyphs actually, there were symbols. They used to use their imagination, many times the prints of their hands. So uh, we see here in the uh, article, ancient humans painted illustrations on rock shelters near volcanoes, color enhanced versions showing the rock art, which enhances the cone-shaped features, the lower elongated line and three-fingered handprints. Why three-fingered? I have no idea. Now, after a treacherous volcanic eruption during the Bronze Age, curious humans and their canine companions hiked, hiked closer to the volcano where they left footprints in the fine-grained volcanic ash. The hydrovolcanic eruption occurred when a superheated mix of magma and groundwater exploded, and it was so impressive, the humans even illustrated it in okra, okra meaning is a type of a yellowish paint, on a nearby rock in what is now western Turkey. This is according to a new analysis. Quote, I think the people excited by the noise of the first hydrovolcanic eruption then started to approach the eruption site, walked on the wet hydrovolcanic ash, leaving their footprints behind. This is what the study lead researcher Inan Ulusoy, an assistant professor at the Department of Geological Engineering at Hasetepe University in Turkey, claims. He told Live Science in an email, anyone could imagine that this is an event that one may face rarely in a lifetime. This may have given the inspiration to the Bronze Age people to leave the note behind. And here you see one of the images of the footprints in the ash. Researchers first learned of the ancient footprints in the 1960s when workers building the Demir Kopru Dam near Sindel village in Turkey noticed the well-preserved tracks. These prints are now known as the Kula footprints because they're in Kula Volcanic Geopark where Ka Kalar volcano raises in a majestic peak. Over the years, researchers have dated the Kula footprints, but not always correctly. The first attempt was in 1968, and they suggested the prints were 250,000 years old, prompting those researchers to attribute the tracks to Neanderthals, or Homo neanderthalensis. Other attempts have led to more recent, but also iffy dating. To get to the bottom of the mystery, the researchers of the new study used two dating methods to pinpoint when the footprints were made. The first was radiogenic helium dating, which measures the decay of uranium and thorium into helium to calculate the eruption age of tiny zircon crystals that were found at this site. The team also used cosmogenic chlorine exposure dating, which measures levels of radioactive chlorine that forms when cosmic radiation slams into calcium or potassium items. Cosmogenic chlorine exposure dating reveals the amount of time that volcanic rocks have sat near the Earth's surface. The results showed that the footprints were made only 4,700 years ago, meaning it could not have been Neanderthals who went extinct about 40,000 years ago, but rather modern humans who left them. Quote, the two independent dating approaches showed internal, internally consistent results and collectively suggested the volcanic eruption was witnessed by Homo sapiens during the prehistoric Bronze Age, 4,700 years ago and 245,000 years ago later than originally reported. Study co-researcher Martin Danisik the research fellow in Earth and Planetary Sciences at Curtin University in Perth, Australia, said in a statement. 
Small prints at the site indicate that these ancient people used walking staffs and were accompanied by an unknown species of Canis, a genus that included wolves, coyotes, and dogs, the researchers added. Also, a previous analysis suggests that these ancient people were running away from the eruption. But after examining the distances between the steps, it appears that whoever left them was walking at normal speeds, the researchers in earlier analysis found. Our observers confirmed that the traces show a walking direction from west to east towards the Kakalar cone. The researchers wrote in the study that this may indicate a brief hiatus after ash deposition, which was long enough for humans to approach the volcano after its initial outburst. Red rock art. A new date sheds light on a spectacular piece of rock art long known to locals but only scientifically discovered in 2008. This rock art is a mere 1.2 miles or 2 kilometers from the fossil footprints about a 20-minute walk away, Ulusoy said. The footprints indicate that humans witnessed the volcanic eruption, Ulusoy said, so it's possible that the art known as the Canlitas rock painting may depict eruption, erupting rocks and lava flows, he said. The illustration shows a crater-like circular shape in the middle with a line underneath that may represent lava flowing out of the volcano, he said. Around the crater are lines which may represent volcanic vents and thumbless handprints, the researchers added. It's possible that these ancient people were among the world's first volcanologists, that is, some of the first people to see and then record a volcanic eruption. The study was published in the May issue of Quaternary Science Reviews. We've also found ancient human footprints, hundreds of them, discovered near an African volcano. Science Alert reports that researchers dated ancient and incredibly rare collection of footprints on the mudflats beyond the Ol Doinyo Lengai volcano in Tanzania. There are more than 400 footprints there, thought to have been left between 5,800 and 19,100 years ago. So these are much older than the ones that we found in Turkey that we recently, we just said in the beginning of this video. Now, by knowing more about when these ancient footprints were committed to the dirt near the village of Engaresero, it gives scientists a unique opportunity to figure out how these early African homo sapiens might have lived and traveled. Some of the tracks imply that people were moving at a brisk jogging speed. Others show groups of women and children traveling together one person appears to have been walking with a broken big toe. Quote, the first time we went out there, I remember getting out of the vehicle and I teared up a little bit. And quote, geologist and lead researcher Cynthia Ludkus pierce from Appalachia State University told Michael Greshko of National Geographic. She said, human origins is a huge interest of mine. Where we came from and why we are who we are, it was definitely emotional to see our own history in this." End quote. Scientists were first alerted to the Angara Cero site back in 2008, but have just published their findings after years of careful research to date and explain these prints. They think that mud flowing down from the 2,332 meter tall, that's 7,650 foot old, all Doinio Lengai volcano formed the Engare Cerro mudflats, and in the days before it dried, it managed to capture and preserve these ancient human tracks. But they might all not all uh, have always been visible. Researchers suggest that the site was covered with another flow of debris from the volcano 10,000 to 12,000 years ago. Originally, the scientists thought the mud was formed directly from an ash cloud, which would date the prints at around 120,000 years old. Now the hypothesis is that the ash was carried down by water 
which means the footprints probably are not quite so ancient. By unidentifying, by identifying the uh, younger crystals buried in the mud using geochronological techniques, the team found the tracks could have been deposited as far back as 19,100 years ago with a margin of error of a few thousand years. Now that the time frame has been narrowed down, the researchers want to move on to study more about how these people lived and socialized. There are still plenty of mysteries left to solve concerning this. They said it's a very complicated site. One of the team members, William Harcourt Smith from the City University of New York, states there's one area where there are so many prints. We've nicknamed, nicknamed it the dance hall because I've never seen so many prints in one place. It's completely nuts. The site that claims to have the oldest footprints ever discovered is Laetoli, also in Tanzania, which is dated to about 3.6 million years ago, but those tracks would have been left by earlier human ancestors, members of the Australopithecus afarensis species, and there is some debate about the interpretation of the site. Meanwhile, the research at Angaro Cerro is set to continue, so we can discover more about who these ancient people were. The site has been wired off with a fence to help protect these ancient tracks, but there is excitement around the discovery and it means it's turning into something of a tourist attraction. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.